The India Abroad Friend of India Award goes to Professor Suzanne and Lloyd Rudolph. Well, I'm glad that Suzanne Rudolph, who's been my colleague for many years, was able to say something tonight. I'm going to add a few words in a limited time. I, I know it's been a long evening, but I think it will take a few, the few minutes I have available to say something about our work on Mahatma Gandhi. We have published several books about him. I think that most Indians would agree that Gandhi is, uh, is the most outstanding member of the galaxy of those who fought for and won Indian freedom. He had and has detractors and opponents, not least among them those who conspired to assassinate him on January 30th, 1948. But, Gandhi, but Gandhi's standing extends beyond India. He is recognized as a world historical figure, not only among scholars, but also in the popular media. When Time Magazine chose their person of the century, in 1999, it mentioned three names, Franklin Roosevelt, Albert Einstein, and Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's preeminence in India <laughs> is based on the, unique, on the uniqueness and, auth and authenticity of his voice and message. Two of India's leading public intellectuals, Ashish Dandi, who you saw <laughs> just a moment ago talking about our work, and Partha Chatterjee, found that Indian thinkers and activists could not speak authentically because, in Nandi's phrase, they were handicapped by an intimate enemy. They had been brainwashed by what Nandi called colonial modernity a modernity created and imposed by the British Raj. Partha Chatterjee's phrase for a similar handicap among Indian intellectuals and thinkers is derivative discourse. Gandhi, while exposed to the Raj's colonial modernity, found the means to escape and transcend, to, and to transcend it. He did so by drawing on ideas and practices of India's traditions. Foremost among them were a message from the Bhagavad Gita, overcome and master desire. The way to master desire and act according to duty is not by being motivated by the fruits of action, pleasure, profit, fame, victory, Another concept Gandhi reinterpreted and revitalized from Indian uh, tradition, including Jain tradition, was ahimsa, nonviolence. Gandhi applied nonviolence in action through one of his greatest inventions, Satyagraha. Today, with the appearance of the Arab Spring, we are reminded that nonviolent resistance has proven to be an increasingly effective alternative to violence as a means for bringing about social and political change. These are some of the reasons that Gandhi remains, in the 21st century, a world historical figure. Thank you. Thank you.